hopefully you guys can hear the rain. Or can't. I don't know if that's supposed to hit my video or not. But it's hella raining. Um. Uh, this is a very casual vid because it is hella real talk. And hella, like, personal level shit. And I'm be just like real as hell with you guys right now. Um. Things first. I have a job, and I've been working, I'm pretty much working every day, because I thought I was going to have Sunday off, but, uh, no. So, from everything that's been happening, and the reason why I said I was going to take some time off, and there wasn't going to be videos or anything, it's because, like, I just went through a really, really, like, bad time, um, and, I mean, it, it like, uh, I was dealing with a lot of stuff, and the thing is that I wasn't dealing, dealing with it. I was kind of just putting it on the back burner, and like, mm, it's not, mm. And you know, when you do that, things just build up, and build up, and build up. And one little thing happens, and you explode, and that's what happened to me. And I just, like, went down in this deep fucking spiral, and I'm still in it. But I think I'm bringing myself up. I think. So, um, from doing that, um, from not dealing with it, things have gotten so bad, um, I have cut everyone out of my life. For about, like, three days, I was constantly crying every night. Um, Actually, no, four. Um, I was crying constantly. Um, I was, like, kind of crying throughout the day. Um, uh, things just weren't good, and so I was like, you know what? Alcohol makes everything better. No. <laughs> I'm not mad. Literally no part of me is angry or pissed at that. I'm heartbroken. I can actually talk about this without crying, so I think that's part of the reason why I think I'm going back up, um, because I can actually explain this without crying. That I'm just so tired. I don't know. It it didn't make me mad. It did anger me. It broke my heart. It really did. It broke my heart that the one person that I think the world of that I I put on like the highest pedestal in the entire world. Treated me like I just was it there. I have been having guy problems for a very long time, and it's just gotten to the point of like it's it's really bad to the point where I just really need to stop things that are going on romantically. Maybe you can catch my drift. Um, I need to stop those. Having him in my life, though, I can't take him out. I really can't. There's no possible way for me to. <clears throat> Not just because I'm in love with him, but for the simple fact of he tries. He tries more than, like, literally any other person in my life right now. Like, he tries so much. Even when I was like, hey, I'm cutting everyone out of my life. I am not talking to anyone. Who was there? He was still texting me literally every freaking day. Him. Like, but I'm okay with talking to him because he's the only person that's like really been trying. And like, any other time he really tries to, like, he's the one that's always asking me to hang out or texting me. Like, I never text him. And, like,. <sighs> Even when we like fight, like he's always like the first person to like text me and be like, please, like, you know, it's okay, it's fine, meh. Like, he always tries, even when I'm just like, no, go away, meh. And I was like, get over it, you stupid, like, just stop. And I'm like, okay. So, for that simple fact of 
he tries more than like any other person I've ever had in my life. Like he hella tries. Even when I'm just like, leave me alone, leave me alone. He's like, no. <laughs> I've come to really appreciate how much he tries. Um. So I'm, I don't care what anyone says. I'm keeping him in my life because he's tried more than anyone. Really, like anyone in my life. He tries harder than anyone else I know. So, I had like the most amazing best friend in the entire world. I've known him for like three years, and I talk to him every single day in my life. Like, there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't talk to him. Like, legitly every day. And that, I think that's what ruined us. I think that's what ruined our friendship. But, That was a while ago that happened, but, um, I still haven't, like, dealt with it. I just kind of, like, oh, it ended. Our friendship is gone. And, you know, after three years, it's dead. <clears throat> Don't make a big deal about it. You've know, got other friends. Whatever. So, I never really, like, went through the process of, like, losing my friend. And so that has been the biggest and deepest one that has been bugging me because I just would never, I, I wouldn't deal with it. I wouldn't like, acknowledge it. it. Um, so I let myself cry about it and kind of made a little video on my computer and just let every feeling I had out and then deleted it. And, I think I'm getting to the point of being actually okay with it. Um, I miss him so much because there's just so many things that happen that I just want to tell him about. Because you guys are used to telling someone's like everything, even if it's something like this small, like you tell them, and they're excited for you, and they're just like, you know, or like something funny that only me and him found funny, or like something we had a little inside joke of would happen, and you know, it happens, and I'm just like, oh no, I need to tell, and I can't. But in this video, I do want to say, um, I'm sorry. I don't know if you wa would watch this video. I don't even know if you got to this part of the video. But I do want to say, from the bottom of my heart, I'm genuinely sorry for everything I've done, and I really wish I could take it back, because if I didn't do all those things, I'd still have my friend. I would. So, if you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm sorry. I'm gonna miss you. Mm. You know, everything that you've been planning to do, I hope, I hope it all works out. Yeah. Um, you know, and then there's pressure of, like, school and, you know, my job. And trying to take care of everybody else, too. Um, those are little things, but they, they build up. They add. So, yeah. That's everything, and that's the reason why I said I wouldn't make videos, but I'm only talking to one person right now. That's not family. Um, it's just because he's been checking up on me and everything through this, and he won't let me, like, ignore him. Like, he's trying to be respectful about it. Like, not asking me to hang, but he just wants me to give him updates on how I'm doing, so. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm seriously so thankful I have you guys. Um, really wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have YouTube, honestly. Um, if you got to this part of the video, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to everything. And thank you for understanding. 
and hopefully it, me talking about everything that I've been going through hopefully this helps you guys <sighs> glad you guys sat through this with me sorry this is such a long video I love you guys I know I already said that but I do okay I'm gonna finish eating my root beer pop tart and vape and watch YouTube videos okay bye